members of a very important hurricane relief effort. We're joined by Penny Decker and Helen Wilshire from My Fabric Friends. Welcome, ladies. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I went out to your shop a few um, days ago, actually. Yeah. And I was able to capture this beautiful effort by the quilting community, the sewing mm -hmm. community, to get some quilted blankets together for victims of Hurricanes Helene and Milton. Yes. Yes, our store's been packed with volunteers all week long. It's just been amazing. Um, we've had donations pour in. We've had the quilting community, I believe, St. Luke's in Goliad brought care packages of toiletries plus quilts, I think 28. Uh, it's just been tremendous, it, a, a tremendous outpour. Yoakum, yeah. all over the, the Crossroads community, they've been coming together. All of our local um, customers have been coming in and donating quilts. I mean, it, it quilt tops, we've had them come in and do cutting, ironing, whatever, putting kits together. We're, I think, Connie left yesterday morning early with the, the, the first owner of round. The store, yes, yeah. Connie Quartz, the owner of My Fabric Prints. She left with her son. They're making the first fast trip to uh, North Carolina. Their next destination stop is Franklin, North Carolina. They hit the road early this morning to continue. Um, they have connections up there. She has a very um, broad online business as well and um, we have some customers up there that are hooking her up with uh, some quilt shops oh wow some quilt guilds and a church they're um, they're going to make sure the quilts and all the other donations are going to get to the people we they the people up there that she's contacting are working with the Cajun Navy to get you know boots on the ground make sure they are delivered straight to the victims. Well I'm glad she has her son with her and I'm I'm hoping they have a safe passage back yes back here as well and Miss Helen you're a member of my fabric friends and you're one of the very talented <laughs> sewers there Thank you can you. actually <laughs> use the long arm which I discovered last week is a huge machine for quilting mm -hmm. Why is it important for these quilts, these handmade items to be made and donated? Why not just buy a bunch of blankets instead? Well, they don't have the love, the first thing put into them that these ladies put into creating these quilts. And they want to help out. And if you go buy something, you don't, not putting any love into it or not any of yourself into it. And a lot of these volunteers, m mostly women? We have some men volunteers oh, too. Wow. A lot of men volunteers. We uh, occasionally need a lot of uh, help with uh, lifting stuff. We, uh, our shop is a quilt explosion right now. We have tons of um, bags and bags and bags ready to go now. Uh, we still have some that we need to long arm, which Miss Helen's gonna be working all all week on those. Um, we still have volunteers coming in. Um, it, it, giving a quilt is like giving a piece of yourself. It's something that you spend a lot of time piecing together, working on, and it, it just something about wrapping up in a quilt to make you feel Loved. To Warm, feel loved. Loved, well, yes. Let's go ahead and remind people how to get in contact with My Fabric Friends. You can call 361-894-6816. Keep in mind, not just donations of quilts, but donations of time are needed. So be sure to contribute because there's going to be a second phase yes. of this project. And we'll learn more about it. I'm going to keep up with y'all. We'll yeah. post more on our yeah. website. After Thanksgiving, we'll be making another trip, maybe even a convoy, because this was a uh, first response real fast, you know, get it up there. Uh, the second phase is just going to be a little bit of the same, probably more. Probably more. Yeah. Well, we can't wait to see how that all develops. Thank you so much for yes. everything y'all are doing. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Well, coming up, don't go anywhere. We hear more from our guests here <laughs> on Community Crossroads.